Today is December 7th, 2023. And this is the day that I decided I'm going to make some sort of change. If that means getting up and vlogging, taking my OnlyFans serious, or actually getting my independent makeup business off the ground, I have got to make a change. Yeah, so let's like rewound it back. Good morning and a great afternoon. I, I think I'm gonna start this video over. I'm gonna start vlogging, so I don't really have an introduction, but ah, I'm not gonna start this over. See, that's why my life keeps going the way it does because of stuff like that. Because then my brain is going like seven different ways. But anyway, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome. Welcome back. It's been a long time. <laughs> so, I'm not creating a new series. I literally am just getting up in the morning. I have work at 1 p.m. It is now... 1101 1101 and I just wanted to bring you all on the journey of what I do day by day in my life um, so usually uh, I was outside last night you know I go out at least two or three times a week um, just to update I don't live in South Carolina anymore I've moved to Atlanta, Georgia. I've been out here for one year. So there's a lot we should catch up on. But uh, it's it's been a hell of a journey. And I've been out here for one year. Um, and I'll be here for one more year. Um, maybe another year. I don't know. You know, I like to move and explore my options. So, but anyway... Let's get up and get straight to it. We're back to wash my face, brush my teeth. Let's have an intimate conversation. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's get ready for work. And while I get ready for work, let's talk a little bit about life and just how that's been going. So, um, when I wake up in the morning, I have a series of thoughts. And those thoughts usually consist of um, missing my family, because obviously I don't live close to them. Those thoughts also consist of um, what I plan for that day. But more than anything, those thoughts consist of what am I doing with my life and what my next step is. Now, I really have this back and forth about how I want to conduct my life, what I should do, and how I should do it. And these thoughts constantly come to my head every day, all day. And I think, um, and I'm not sure if everybody goes through this, but it's one of those moments like, what direction do I want to move into my life to be successful? Now, obviously, I moved to Atlanta. I do makeup, right? I would call myself an artist just trying to make it in the industry. Obviously, I've worked in department stores for a majority of my career. Um, I've been really afraid to go out and be independent. Um, and I used to tell myself things like, I used to be like, oh, you know, if I get, you know, like the apartment that I have now, if I get this new apartment, I'll have the space, I'll have the work area to then start to slowly build my business. 
or I, if I get this, this I, I got a second cell phone um, because at one point I was doing OnlyFans and I was like, if I get this second cell phone, I can, you know, you know, put all my content in this second cell phone. If I move to this city, you know, I would have better opportunities and I constantly, constantly keep adding these things to my life, thinking that it's going to make me successful when in actuality, I have to make a choice to either go this direction and stay focused on on this or go this direction. And, and comment down below if anybody struggles with this daily. I wish that in the world, we could do all different types of things and not be judged in this lane or that lane. Let me kind of break it down because I'm kind of all over the place. There's no possible way that I could be a famous OnlyFans model and be taken serious and being a professional makeup artist. Because of the world we live in, um, you know, different lanes and different careers, they just kind of don't, you know what I mean? They don't, you can't do both at the same time. You kind of have to choose one. But then I think to myself, well, if I really didn't care about what people thought, and I really did take OnlyFans serious, and I really did run my bag up, I can get my initial goal, which is to initially start my own makeup line, right? But it's like, then I'll be judged by the rest of the world. Um, you know, if I get into a space with makeup or I do make it into the industry, this OnlyFans thing is gonna continue to come up. So I'm kind of like at a crossroads. Like, do I want to go the route of OnlyFans, that kind of image, which is fine because nobody really cares. Like, if you pull up in a BMW, nobody cares how you got it. They just want to get a ride, you know? So it's like, I go through these mental battles daily of what I need to add or take away in my life in order to be successful. And I'm just, I just wish I, I didn't care as much about what people thought and maybe I could go that OnlyFans, but I feel like if I were to go in this direction, it would only be for the money. And it's like, for you to truly be successful in life, I feel like you should chase after what you're actually good at and what you're talented at. But I feel like makeup just isn't paying the, I mean, it's paying the bills. I mean, I don't live a bad life. I'm living a pretty good life. But I also work like 70 hours a week to live this life. With the exception of my part-time job. You know, I also have a part-time job on top of my regular job. And it's like hours, hours, hours of working, 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 working. And then by the time that I'm done working, I have no creativity left in me. I don't want to vlog for my YouTube channel. I don't want to put any more energy into financing or, or not even financing, but the energy that it takes to actually start a business. I don't have anything left in me. So coming up to this year of 2024, I have to make a decision of what I'm going to do and what direction I'm going to go and become super dedicated to just that. So that's what I'm like every day in my head. I'm like, you know, there's easy ways to make money, but it will tarnish my image potentially. And there's been a lot of things that I've done on the internet as far as you know, being on different platforms, I have my opinions. A lot of people don't agree with it, which is totally fine. But it's I've, I've said a lot of things where my image could potentially be tainted by the internet, which is fine. Um, but I haven't gone all out like I could have if I really, really just cared about the money. But yeah, let me get back to do my eyebrows. This is, again, daily, daily, every day. 
So, yeah, when I'm at work, I'm just like, I could literally turn around and take a picture of my beep and get a lot of money. Really can. And if I really wanted to go all out with it, I really could. I just choose not to. But I'm telling y'all right now, like, I'm about two seconds away from come becoming the biggest OnlyFans model. And I don't care. Mind you, it would be about the money. I mean, obviously. But we have to pay attention to what the end goal is. Now, on the flip side of that, y'all could say, well, why don't you just take your makeup serious? Why don't you just start the makeup business? And y'all are right. Well, the way that I want to start my business is I really don't want to do makeup out of my house. I don't. I feel like it's low-key a little dangerous. But you got to start somewhere, right? Realistically, I would love and I will work very, very hard to get my own studio because that is the goal. And I truly don't think that I will be successful until that day comes. So it's, it's again, every day, just trying to figure out what route I'm going to take. And uh, what else are we gonna touch on? Let's see. Let's touch a little bit on dating. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm, I'm at a point where I think I have learned just about every lesson possible and I possibly cannot sit up here and say, you know, that I'm perfect in any way. I think I have a lot of self healing to do. I think I have a lot of maturing to do and I think for this year coming up that it's extremely important that I find out what I want from my life. And uh, after that, I think that things will fall exactly the way that they're supposed to. Yeah. So guys, I'm gonna take a little break. And I'll be back in just a second once my face is on completely. Um, and we'll go from there. So guys, I'm back. And I originally planned on recording my entire look, but then I was like, this is not a makeup tutorial. This is me having a personal conversation about some of the things that go on in my mind in order to better connect with my audience and learn to be more consistent and really actually care about my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, so I do want to make this a normal thing where I can come here and have intimate conversations and again, let y'all see just how my journey is going. Um, I feel like this is a lot like the first video I ever made when I was in Vegas and it was intimate, you know? I look at that video all the time and it's it's very like, I was in such a weird place mentally, um, but I was still very much in a very similar headspace that I am now. Um, so, you know, hopefully I can figure out what I'm gonna do so I could then have way more time to spend with my YouTube channel and just everybody that follows me and everybody that supports me. I do appreciate it. Um, of course, my highest viewed videos are my BBL journey, uh, which was a pretty great run. Um, I enjoyed making those videos. I felt like we had intimate conversations as well. 
And, you know, now I'm at the point where I want to make daily vlogs and cooking videos and, you know, just whatever I wake up and feel because that's my personality. You know, I'm really not that great with being consistent with one thing, but that is gonna change in 2024. I do plan on picking one thing and just going ham and taking all of the risk that come with it. By the way guys, this is my favorite lip combo. This is Carnivorous from MAC. I don't know if y'all can see, it's probably blurry. Carnivorous from MAC, which is like a deep wine red. Let me, I'm, I'm really putting y'all in game. What I do with the retro mattes, any matte lipstick, liquid matte, you can line your lips with and then put whatever lipstick in the middle that you want. It could be matte or it could be shiny or it could even be like creamy. So we're gonna just line the bottom. I always overline my lips just a little bit. Oh, so this is what we have. And then I'm gonna take a Powder Kiss lipstick from MAC. This is called MAC Smash. And we're just gonna put that in the middle. Like an ombre. I wish I wouldn't have brought the dark red down so much, but we're gonna work with it. Don't mind me, I do have a little bit of a cold I feel like is coming, or like my sinuses are acting up. So, essentially what I do with the brush is I like wiggle it right here. And there it is. So, it has been amazing just to come back and talk to everybody. And um, thank you for getting ready with me today, even though I showed you like half of it. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. And I will think of more creative ways and, you know, do record more things, more, more you know, incorporate things in my life that are actually interesting. Um, on my journey of becoming just a successful entrepreneur with an amazing makeup line. Might I add model too? Yeah. So, I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.